Today's video is sponsored by PUBG Mobile. What is your favorite retro console of all time, and if so, would you have it re-released again into a micro version with preloaded games? So, growing up, I was really, really, really into RPGs. I'm still into RPGs. It's my favorite genre. And the two systems that really shaped that were the Super Nintendo, which we already have a micro mini system classic edition of, although it is missing a few really important games from that genre, like Chrono Trigger. But the other system that I would lose my mind for some kind of collection would be the PS1. There are so many amazing games on the PS1 that really shaped my taste in games today. And to actually have a collection that's just everywhere on one system that has like all the best JRPGs from that era would be incredible. I mean, a lot of those games are available still kind of digitally through the PS Vita, the PS3, a couple of them are on the PS4, and they've done some like digital re-releases on PC. But to have like an actual console that celebrated that whole genre and what the PS1 contributed to it, I would buy it in a heartbeat. Sony. No baloney. I think if Sony got invested in the idea of doing retro consoles as well, there's some really cool, interesting ideas they could approach with it, especially for the PS1. I mean, obviously this is the original design right here, but something that I think would be really cool is if they actually based it off the slimmer version, which had the attachable screen, because then you could have a retro system that has its own built-in monitor for playing the games, but still offer the option to do an HDMI out to your TV for a more full experience and upscaling everything, which would be super cool. And I know it might sound a little crazy to be like, hey, make this classic system just focused on this one genre, but that's how large the JRPG library is on the PS1 and how many great games are on there. I mean, Square Enix alone has how many Final Fantasies? With seven, eight, nine, Tactics, all the re-releases of the NES and SNES games, Chrono Cross, and then even more third-party companies with Legends of Dragoon, Legend of Mana, uh, Breath of Fire 3, 4. There's just so many amazing games that could cram onto one little mini system. I would love it. Do you like Mortal Kombat or any fighting games in general? Yes, I know I just spent forever ranting about RPGs, but fighting games are like a close second, third genre for games that I love. Uh, I'm terrible at them, so I don't end up spending as much time playing them as I'd like, because I'm just basically good enough to beat my friends. Uh, I like Mortal Kombat, but mostly because of how good NetherRealm is at making single player content for fighting games. As far as an actual fighter that I spend a lot of time well, fighting in, uh, I grew up loving Street Fighter. I spent a lot of time in Street Fighter 4. I've dropped off a little bit in 5, and lately I've been really playing more Tekken 7. I am super excited for Soul Calibur 6. I really want that to probably be the one I actually try to like get kind of good at, even though I know it's not the biggest fighting game out there. Uh, and then obviously, as its own category, Smash Brothers is just always tons of fun. What new releases are you looking forward to for each console? Well, let's get a really easy one out of the way. The Switch. Super Smash Brothers, just done. For PlayStation, as far as system exclusive ones go, I know the really popular answer that I should probably give here is Spider-Man, and that is true. I am really excited for Spider-Man. That's one of the games I'm most anticipating this year, but like I said at the start of this video, I'm a really big JRPG nerd. So I'm really excited actually for Dragon Quest XI, which is finally coming to the US in, God, just another couple weeks actually. So really happy on that. As for Xbox, Definitely the new Ori game. I loved the first one. I think they are just artistically beautiful. I'm always a big sucker for any kind of 2D platforming, especially Metroidvania style games. So yeah, that's just those three for sure. What's your favorite Mario character? So growing up the little brother, uh, my favorite character is definitely Luigi. Luigi, Luigi. No, Luigi Mario. Despite the fact that Nintendo seems to love treating him as a punching bag these days. Cut to Luigi dying again. Best phone games right now? Well, this is a perfect setup for today's sponsor. PUBG Mobile is the official iOS and Android version of PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, a free-to-play battle royale that pits 100 players against each other on one of two gigantic maps where we'll all have to start off with scratch and work hard to scavenge all the weapons and supplies they need to win. You can play in teams of four, or if you're like me, you can go into solo matches so you don't have any teammates to disappoint. The mobile version offers the same feel as PUBG while having a lot of updates and changes to make it fit perfectly on mobile, including intuitive and easy to customize controls controls, realistic graphics, and a variety of game modes including the much faster paced arcade modes where quick matches can take as little as 8 minutes making it perfect to play on the go. And once again, it is totally free to play so you've got nothing to lose giving it a shot. Make sure to check out the link down below in the description to download and try it out for yourself. What is your opinion on the Spider-Man PS4 Pro Special Edition console? 
So obviously I don't have my hands on the system yet. I do have it pre-ordered and I'm excited to unbox it and check it out in person. But as far as just things we've seen, screenshots and all that kind of stuff, I am really excited for it. I've always kind of had slightly mixed opinions on a lot of the PlayStation Special Editions. It's not necessarily I think they don't look good. I just think a lot of times they could look better. And this one in particular, I think, is probably one of the best designs they've done, especially for being themed on a game or franchise. Uh, my only real complaint before seeing it in person is I wish they added just a little bit of blue to the system. I get the focus is red with the white spider symbol in the center. I think that looks great. But just having a little bit of blue trim somewhere to really evoke the full look of the suit, I think would have done wonders for it. But we'll see what I think once I actually unbox it. Who would you like in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Part three, and the ongoing me narrowing down which characters I wanna see added in this game. And it's getting really difficult to do now because I feel like all the characters I talked about the last couple times have now been officially confirmed or kind of deconfirmed because, you know, Simon and Richard Belmont are now both playable characters. I really wanted to see Shovel Knight, which we now have as an assist. Uh, there are so many more I would like to see, and I think there's still a lot of probabilities for some of them because I think Nintendo's really embracing this idea of the Echo Fighters, where they're just adding a ton of characters as just easy kind of copy pastes of other characters with light changes. Uh, while it's very unlikely, I would love to see Proto Man in, as an Echo Fighter of Mega Man. Uh, I think an interesting one, although this is kind of weird, would be to do Big Boss for Solid Snake. Uh, and then one character that I would still love to see, and I've mentioned this one before, but I just, I'm still holding out to hope is Gino. I know there's a lot of people also really clamming for Goku, and there's actually a lot of good arguments for why he could kind of fit in the cast, but honestly, I don't really see that one happening, even though it would be really cool. Best announcement of Gamescom. So Gamescom this year has actually felt a little light to me, at least as of filming this video, because it's still technically going on. But uh, it's mostly been release date confirmations and a little more info on games we already had announced back at E3 or even a little earlier, which I am excited to see more stuff on those games. I mean, Devil May Cry, Sekiro, new info and all that stuff sounds great. As far as like a new announcement goes that got me really excited, uh, I know this isn't like the biggest thing for a lot of people, but I actually freaked out a little bit about it. Uh, Supermassive Games working on a new series, which is kind of based on what they did did with Until Dawn where it's an interactive horror game kind of design where you're directing your own movie but it's an anthology style where it's several shorter stories and smaller games which I think is a really cool idea. I've never been a huge horror fan movie wise but I've always loved horror games and I really liked Until Dawn so getting more stuff like that uh, is just great news. And don't forget to check out that link down below to download and try out PUBG Mobile for free.